Hey, 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 it's a brand new day on Gillen Farms, and I'm Johnny. And uh, what I'm doing today is, uh, well, I've got a few things going on. I, I've got to uh, change all the, the batteries in several uh, cellular trail cameras we've got throughout the property. Um, and I've got to get down to where the cattle are, and I've got, I think that they may need a move, I'm not sure. And I'm going to go down there and check on the pasture situation down there and, and uh, see how they are doing. And um, other than that, just uh, kind of follow along with what I've got going on today. It's, uh, it's just some basic maintenance and, and uh, making sure that everybody's where they need to be. So anyway, let's, let's, go, ahead, let's go ahead and get this taken care of. I'm going to do a test to make sure this thing is spinning correctly. And the way that should work is test, 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 hold. There we go. Successful test. Should have some critters here before you know it. Well, probably this evening. They're not used to anything being here. A lot of clover in here. A lot of clover. Wheat, rye grain. That's what you see all across there is wheat. So these are cellular trail cameras. It's called a Tacticam and it actually sends photos directly to my phone. And it is dead. So what you do is you turn it off. Okay. It takes 12 lithium double A's. Very hard to find set of batteries. And they're very expensive when you do. And it's all because of all the car, the new electric vehicle things that are going on. So your lithium batteries for your small devices that we've used forever are harder to come by and much more expensive because of EVs, electric vehicles. So usually what happens is I'm able to find just a few of these online and I can probably get eight in every month or so because we are not very smart, <laughs> apparently. We have to get all of our batteries from, or our, we get our lithium from China. Get back 
in there. All right, the way it works now is you turn it on to setup mode. So it's on setup mode. You'll see several lights start coming back on. You'll see these lights start doing their little sequence. And once they go solid, that means it's picked up a good signal off that antenna. And it will be set to go. So then you can simply flip it to the on position. So. All right, that's the signal it's got. It's not great, but it works as long as it's got the signal. All right, so it's on. That one is set. Make sure there's no, not a whole lot of obstruction between the camera and what we're trying to get photos of. Things to blow around. Create false triggers. A lot of weed in here. Notice all the clover. Tons of clover. And uh, this is a this is an actual food plot, but I didn't actually, the only thing I planted was wheat. All the clover died out last year, and some of it is starting to return on its own. So there is some clover in areas of it, but mostly it's all along this side, and I believe along the back side over there. So, Later on, I'll come in here and I'll uh, actually, uh, I'll do something called throw and mow. So once all this wheat and everything dies off on its own, later in the summer, I'll come in here and I'll spray this um, and that will kill the weeds and then I will take a uh, broadcast spreader. You've seen it in my other video where I go around and pasture spray, uh, plant. I'll broadcast spread uh, probably clover and uh, rye grain, wheat, and uh, turnips and uh, radishes in here. And then I will brush hog all this stuff down over the top of it. And that will create a mat that will uh, you know, protect the, that seed, keep that seed moist and everything, and all that seed will start germinating and we will have a, a great plot again. So that's the plan this year anyway. So let me move on and do some more camera work. All right, in various places around the property, there are, these cameras are set up for trespassers. They're pretty inconspicuous. Um, and I have had a trespassing issue in the past. It's not common, but it has happened, and it was costly when it happened. So, and when I mean costly, I mean they actually destroyed some things and stole a bunch of things here. And that's not cool. So... In order for that not to be a problem, I make sure that I know right when someone comes onto the property. As soon as somebody comes onto the property, they're mine. And it is true, they are actually mine. Because I am usually right over there at the house, 
and I am on my way. So if you're that type of person, you might think about that. Oh Johnny, he he don't mess around. And he doesn't give second chances to trespassers. Because it seems to never work out. Nine cameras on this property. And uh, I guess you guess where they are. Luckily, or unluckily, technology has gotten to the point to where now we can, we, we have eyes everywhere. Be careful where you go to the bathroom in the woods, folks. <laughs> this right here, this is a pond that I created up here on this property. And uh, it's a small pond. It's not huge by no means. It's about oh, four feet deep or so. And uh, but this went completely dry last year, um, and was the reason why I was able to to dig it back out again. And that's what I did. I dug it back out. It was a lot smaller pond than this even. Um, but this is where all the critters come to water and stuff like that. And that four inch rain that we got the other day did a number. It, it really picked it up bigly. But I've had, um, it looks like, yeah, there's clover coming back out in this stuff. This is where the, uh, all the um, grass kind of blew over in the storm and stuff like that cool season grasses and things like that that have died off and there's a lot of clover popping up underneath it which is fantastic you can see all the clover in here so yeah that died down now the clover is coming back and if I get real lucky I might not have to do a whole lot this year uh, but what I'm doing right here right now is I've got a camera here this is one of the few cameras I've got that you know catches uh, critters and I'm going to move this camera so let me flip this one off and I'm going to move this one to another spot and then I'm going to show, start uh, showing you guys photos that I get from my cameras All right, let's do the setup. Since we've moved positions with this camera, it's probably, I'd still got three quarters battery life. It's a good thing because I don't have any more batteries. <laughs> so, yeah, this is a camera I've always had just set up for critters. So let it get up. Oh, all right, let's figure out what it wants. Set up. Okay, I'm taking down this old trail camera that 
wasn't set and right here is what we're on which is a mineral lick so let's see what kind of pictures we get I am have made it my made my way over to the uh, where the cattle are. This is the Mean Girls paddock. This just kind of shows you what kind of grass we've got growing in here. It's not tall, but there is some grass. If I have to move the cattle into this one, um, these I just wanted to make sure everybody's got something to eat. Oh, my tractor is sitting kind of funny. I hope it's not going to flat. But anyway, it hasn't, I haven't noticed any rain, but that doesn't mean it hasn't rained. So we will check that. As, as suspected, bone dry. 
it's been oh approximately a week uh, since it's rained at this point so been really hot too and getting ready to get hotter it's supposed to be upper 90s all next week i believe so anyway not a lot going on here not a lot of growth in this in this paddock pond is really low right over there all right this is a sign that we don't have to to uh change paddocks yet the cattle are all laying right over here in the shade they still have forage in here so i'm going to leave them in this paddock and that one up there she those are up there eating and these down here they're all just laying around in the shade just kind of chilling out there's some laying right over here there's danny right there so yep they're just kind of resting right now so that tells me i don't have to I don't have to change uh, paddocks with them. So I guess that's pretty much all I've got. I was just going to come over here, check out the grass, which are still enough in here for them for the next, oh, probably through the weekend. And then I'll come back and move them early next week to the, uh, to the Mean Girls paddock. So anyway, if you like this type of video, like and subscribe. And I'll continue to bring more content in the future as available. And as always, everybody, God bless.